Uh, thank you. Um, uh, I really don't have a question, but I just want to comment. Uh, it's just a comment. And uh, could you introduce yourself? Uh, okay. Okay. Um, I'm Fabian. Okay. This one. That one. Okay. I'm Fabian, and um, okay. This one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm Fabian, and uh, I'm from the Safsay community as well. Uh, I just want to make a comment. Uh, first, I'd like to thank our panelists uh, that they've brought a very important dimension to these talks, uh, which I feel is probably what is lacking or what has been lacking since this talk started, uh, the moral ethical dimension. And uh, one thing that I, uh, some things that I just want to point out, uh, the first being, um, I've been here, this is my first time to attend uh, COP. And uh, one thing that I've uh, sort of come to light uh, to me is that uh, the way the whole uh, UNF C COP is set up is actually in itself so uh, unfair, especially to the poor countries uh, of this world, because uh, it's really, really confusing. I've been here for two weeks, and I'm still trying to understand exactly how this thing operates. And uh, I understand that uh, you have to be well resourced to be able to attend and to make contributions to all the, uh, the side events or all the negotiations going on, mostly at the same time. So I think it's, uh, again, uh, the system which I think has really failed us. Uh, the way it's set up, it's really to serve the interests of the rich. Uh, I think that's my, my comment. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm just so sorry I missed this panel discussion. It's where I should have been in the first place and should have been through the whole conference. It's actually working with you. But I just want to say, just a few weeks ago, I saw a brilliant 30-minute documentary by the Interfaith Organization. And I wanted to make direct contact with him for copies because I'd really like to be spreading that. I'd like to be showing it wherever I go. I'm representing Plant for the Planet, which is a wonderful children's organization initiated by a nine-year-old boy, literally spreading the message of climate justice. These children go through a brief training and emerge as climate justice ambassadors, and their practical action is planting millions of trees. Our goal is to take over the billion tree campaign from, inspired by Wangari Matai and just spread the planting of trees as a goodwill gesture, as a symbolic gesture, as a practical action to mitigate climate change. And I'm just so warmed by this organization because it really rekindles the ethics that you're speaking about on this panel. And I'd like to find a way to really work with you, all of you, and, and really contribute to the initiative that you bring to this conference. I absolutely agree with this man. It's, it's lacking. And that fundamental ethical foundation, without that, we are not going to get this right. And even if we do face massive catastrophe, we still need that fundamental spiritual understanding to carry us through and to help us counsel others. So thank you from the depths of my heart. Thank you very much. We have just a couple of minutes left. So are there any further questions from media here? David, just a quick one. We, we in the faith communities here are saying, please, we've got to get all faith communities around the world now to stand up and give that moral lead that is needed. Absolutely. Let's do this. I have a... My name is Elise Temple.